Yo, what up, what up? It's your man, Big Brandon Carter. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to avoid the dreaded plateau so you can keep making progress throughout your weightlifting career. Let's go. Big problem people seem to have is after they've been training for a while, initially, man, you start making progress. You make great progress, fast progress, and then it starts to slow down. Maybe even you hit a plateau. The things you used to do aren't working anymore and you don't know what to do. I'm gonna show you why that happens and how to circumvent that to the best of your ability. Now, first, let's talk about why that happens. So. When you first start working out, you're in there training, you're in there lifting weights, blah, blah, blah. You start, first start getting into it and you start making progress, man. Like almost immediately. It seems like the scale is going up every day if you're trying to build muscle and, you know, your weights are going up every day. Yeah, bro, that shit don't last forever. Your first year, it's going to be like that. Even if you're training the shitty, even if your diet is not dialed in, you're going to make progress because your body's just adapting. Even if you're not that consistent, man, I'm telling you, man, like your first year is a magical time where you'll make a lot of progress. To give you some perspective, if you're doing everything right, I mean everything right, you can expect to gain 20 to 25 pounds of fucking muscle your first year. Almost none of you are. But if you were, you'd be gaining about that much. Even if you're in there stinking the place up, your diet's all fucked up, your, your, your train's all fucked up, you can still gain five to 10 pounds of muscle your first year. And that's what most of you guys do. Your second year though, things change a little bit. If you're doing everything right, you can expect to gain 10 to 15 pounds of muscle. Most of you aren't doing everything right by that, by that time either. So you can probably cut that in half for you guys who are out here fucking up, you're probably looking at five to 10 pounds of muscle, which is not insignificant. Your third year, we can start considering you an intermediate. This time, you're looking at three to five pounds of muscle doing everything right. You're looking at putting on three to five pounds of fucking muscle at best. Now, because most of you guys have been bullshitting, fucking around this whole time, you're not used to doing everything right. You're not even doing half the shit right. So you're looking at one, to two pounds of muscle. Your fourth year, you're doing everything right. You're looking at one to three pounds of muscle total if you're doing everything right. And if you're not, then you're like, man, I hit a plateau. Every year after that, you're lucky to put on a pound or two of muscle. You have to be doing everything right to put on one to two pounds of muscle for the duration of your weightlifting career. Sorry, that's what it's like lifting at an intermediate to advanced level. It's just, it's, it's more difficult the longer you train. Put that in perspective, I've been training for 19 years consecutively. I will be lucky if I put on two pounds of muscle this year. I mean, I'm going to have to fight for every inch. I'm gonna have everything dialed in and I'm gonna have to do everything right. And shit, if it's your second or third year, you're probably gonna be having to do the same to gain any significant amount of muscle, right? And if you don't, people say, oh, I hit a plateau. Well, you didn't really hit a plateau, bro. Here's what happened. You were fucking around your first year or two and you still made progress. You weren't keeping a training log. You weren't tracking your macros. You weren't getting enough sleep and you still made progress. And yo goofy ass thought that that would last forever. But it doesn't, man. Those are, you know, those are the noob gains. Shit, you might have been able to build muscle and burn fat that first year. You're not gonna do that after. Because things are different, you think you hit a plateau, but really, it's just more difficult. So how do you still make progress, as, or at least as much progress as you can, as you progress? Well, the number one thing to do is to really dial your shit in, man. It's to stop fucking around. So you wanna make sure that you are meticulous with your diet. Let's start there. You wanna make sure you're tracking everything and hitting your macros every day. Not sometimes or some days. A lot of you guys, this is what you motherfucking do. You you track your macros during the week, and on the weekend, you're just off. You just do whatever on the weekend. Well, yeah, that's gonna throw off your progress. That's gonna slow you down. And you gotta remember, man, you need every fucking inch pause after your first or second year. And because you're not on that shit, like you're just not, your progress is gonna be slowed down and you're gonna hit a plateau. But it's not just diet. You also have to train right. You should be tracking your, your training, your lifts. You should be following a program. See, that's another thing. A lot of you guys aren't following a real program. In your first year, you just go in and do random shit and you get some results, but it doesn't last forever. Random actions will lead to random results. Burn that in your brain, man. 
it, it's cause and effect and if the cause is fucking random then the effect will be random but the cause is structured then the effect will be structured you want to be following a program and actually following the program not in there fucking around you want to make sure when you're in the gym when you're going consistently skipping workouts and shit that you can't afford to do that after your first or second year you, you just can't afford to do that if you want to make progress so one you're consistently you're not skipping workouts it's non-negotiable shit for you your tracking is non-negotiable and when you're in there you're actually working right you're not fucking instagram and snapchatting and all this other shit you're trying to make as much progress each session as possible way different than the way a lot of you guys train because I, I, I just see you i go to gyms i have like 20 gym memberships in new york and i go to different gyms and i see people in there chit-chatting fucking around you know laughing and joking you're not in there to have fun if, if you want to make serious progress man it, it should be awful it should actually be it should be an awful experience because you need more intensity as you uh as you progress right so it should be fucking awful you should hate it and uh if you do that right you'll make progress then you got to have your sleep dialed in if this is a priority you need to begin eight to nine hours of sleep a night man if not mm, it worked your first year maybe it worked your second year but it ain't gonna work after that. And I highly suggest you keep a log. You keep a training log. We'll put a link to a video I talked about the training log and the importance of it. That's gonna be in the description. But listen, look, man, it's the most important thing, keeping a log, because that's gonna keep you what? Accountable. If you hit a plateau where you're not making progress, you won't start fucking blaming the world or say, this guy's on steroids or this guy tried that and that didn't work for me. No, you fucking fuck. You'll be able to look at the data and say, oh, I didn't make any progress because I skipped three workouts this week or I'm not hitting my macros fucking four days a week. You'll be able to get the data. You'll know why you're making progress and why you're not. And you can make the adjustments accordingly looking at data instead of just fucking guessing. Then if you have all that in order, uh, you wanna make sure your supplementation is right. I did this in order. Diet, training, sleep, now supplements. I own a supplement company, <laughs> Bro Laboratories. We make some of the greatest supplements ever bestowed upon mankind. They are the living embodiment of everything the human race was meant to achieve however supplements are the least important part of your uh of your, your your programming i don't even want you to take supplements if all the other shit isn't in order and once it is one of the supplements that's going to help you that's like undeniable is going to help you right you can say what you want about everything else creatine will work bro and creatine works for almost everybody almost every time in fact i'm gonna give you a free bottle of creatine this week only, I'm gonna give it to you for free from my company, Bro Laboratories. When you order one of these arm day tank tops or t-shirts, buy the tank top t-shirt, I'm gonna give you a free bottle of creatine. But not only that, because remember, your training and your diet is most important, I'm gonna give you a copy of my best-selling book, Bicep Bible. It's all about how to put on lean slabs of muscle as much as you can. And we put an emphasis on the arms because, you know, whatever. You know, I like having big arms and, you know, something. You know, I got these 18-inch pythons. So I, I'm qualified to teach you guys this shit. This book was $60 when it first came out. I'm going to give you the physical copy for free and a bottle of creatine when you order your arm day shirts. This week only. Link in the description. If you see this after this week, that link will send you to something else that's probably going to be pretty awesome. Uh, <laughs> but this deal only lasts this week, man, you know, because I can't just be giving away creatine like that shit, <laughs> like that forever man this is just a little promo because we just released the arm day shirts so to recap how to avoid plateaus plateaus happen because the longer you train the harder it's going to get and if your shit wasn't dialed in before you hit your second or third year then you will hit a plateau because every year gets harder which means you have to work harder now here's the thing if you were working harder from the beginning one you wouldn't hit a plateau and more importantly, you would make more gains your first and second year if you were doing everything right and it was dialed in. You would take advantage of that beautiful time when gains came quickly and easy if you were working hard during that time. So if you, that's you, then please start tracking your shit right now. All right. Keep a log and dial everything in right now. Your life will be easier as a result. All right. And what do you track? What do you dial in? First, your diet. All right. Every day hit your macros. No exception. You know what I'm saying? When you have a cheat day, make sure it's strategic. I have a video on cheat days to tell you what that's all about. Bam. Then your training. Your training has to be immaculate, impeccable, above reproach every day. And you're not skipping workouts. You're doing it consistently. Bam. Then you have your sleep dialed in. Eight to nine hours, motherfucker. 
Don't fuck this up. Ooh, study show. You only need seven hours of sleep. Cause it be 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 be. Yeah, well those studies weren't studying motherfuckers who were working out an hour a day, man. Like those studies was were, were, was regular people doing regular shit, trying to gain as much fucking muscle as possible. It's not regular shit. And if you want to do that, you're not a regular person. So you're gonna need a little bit more sleep than those assholes, than those fucking civilians. Studies also showed that sleep improves performance. There was a study done at uh, Stanford University where they took all their swimmers, right? And they had some sleep six hours and they had, and they had some sleep nine hours. The study showed that all the swimmers that slept more had better times. Then they did the same thing with uh, basketball players, these motherfuckers shot percentages went up. So if your performance is increased in the gym, you're you're getting better workouts and you're getting more out of your workouts. Wouldn't that result in more muscle gain? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Shut the fuck up and stop arguing with me. That's why you're watching these videos and I'm making them, jackass. And then you want to take some supplements, uh, maybe creatine. If you don't, if you take one supplement, you should take creatine. I don't care if you buy mine or not. Just make sure you're taking creatine. Every man above the poverty line should be taking creatine if you're training. All right, uh, I will give you our creatine for free along with Bicep Bible, the book, physical copy, not no bullshit PDF. International with shipping, right? We're gonna give you both of those for free when you get the arm day shirt this week only. Uh, don't miss out on that. Hey, if you like this video, if you like this video, and I know you do, hit the fucking like button, subscribe to the channel, don't fuck this up, and then turn on notifications. And follow me on Instagram because I post cool shit there and I give advice. Sometimes I might answer a DM or two per week. Sometimes. Not every week, but sometimes. Anyway, love you guys. Peace.